flying up in one of these steel horses. A F-16 Fighting Falcon is no joke, but for the brave servicemen and women in the United States Air Force, it's something they do every day. And I had to see for myself what it was like to go for a ride of a lifetime. But before we get to the actual flight, I learned more about why they do what they do. I represent, recruit and retain. It's that simple. The Thunderbirds accomplished that by flying out to different events, demonstrating pride among other things. Precision and the professionalism of those troops that are uh, deployed around the country in over 90 countries right now. This is the group's 62nd season and they have over 120 enlisted personnel with 12 officers. Typically six will take to the skies at air shows. Getting airborne, making a lot of noise and having uh, um, an exciting, thrilling hour of demonstration. I got a chance to experience those maneuvers firsthand, but before jumping into my flight suit, I had several briefings at Fox Airfield. I met with Major Derek Lee to learn about these ambassadors in blue, then with Captain Chris Scheibler, a flight surgeon, on how to deal with air sickness and pulling G's, which is feeling the additional force of gravity when you're in the air. On the ground, you're at 1G, but up in the air, these F-16s can pull up to 9Gs. That's nine times your body weight. All right, here come the Gs. Big deep breath. Stretch your squeeze. One, two, three. 16 200 back in the pool. Oh, wow. On the back. <laughs> After that, it was time to suit up. I met with Staff Sergeant Jose Barra to go over everything I would need in the cockpit, like a G-suit, helmet, gloves, and baggies for air sickness. After that, I met my pilot, Major Scott Petz, who prepped me for the flight. He joined the team last October. I started as a maintainer, a crew chief, so I was enlisted with the uh, Air National Guard, and then I flew as a MiG-1 with the uh, Aggressor Squadron, um, and I also flew with the uh, Air South Dakota Air National Guard Lobos. The pilots are one aspect of the Thunderbirds. Some of the enlisted personnel handle jet maintenance, and most of the F-16s Thunderbirds fly are equipped for one person only. But we jumped into a two-person jet, which requires an additional fuel tank. After taking a hero shot and strapping in, we were ready for takeoff. I like to give them a big cheesy wave. Big wave, like a parade. <laughs> Here we go. What a ride it was. I experienced the maneuvers Thunderbirds typically perform at 150 feet, but we were at a much higher altitude. I was treated to loops like this. All right, this looks like a wonderful place to do a loop. Okay. <laughs> coming right, this will be a nice, easy over the top at four Gs. We're coming right on back. Right through our smoke trail, smoke out ready now. We also did barrel rolls, four-point rolls, knife edge, inverted flight, and low-altitude maneuvering. We even pulled 7.2 Gs. 15, 8, 2, 30, back over the pull. Pulling Gs was the most intense part of the ride, but overall, it was incredibly steady and smooth and precise, which is no surprise because these jets are built for combat. Its uh, roll capability is uh, uh, very, very good, as you saw during the max aileron rolls that we did. Um, the ability for the jet to climb, like we did the max climb on takeoff. Um, and these are all maneuvers that the team is going to do throughout the demonstration on Saturday and Sunday. After experiencing those maneuvers and then swooping in for an impressive landing, I know the weekend crowd will be very impressed with the Thunderbirds. I know I was.